Phil Baker, Dennis Florida, and uh, here I am with some saws on the left and explaining why uh, I seem to have this desire to uh, uh, have back saws. And the primary reason is to in the history of saw making, there's been a lot written on the makers, when they got married, when they started the business, all this sort of thing. But, and we knew they made saws, but what about the saws? There's really nothing, and, uh, or very little. Uh, I have, uh, frequently conversed with Simon Barley in Great Britain, who has a doctorate in tools from Sheffield, Birmingham, and London, and he says the same thing holds true in Great Britain. But at home, in the process of collecting these, which I wish to sell, I have 652 uh, back saws, and these back saws will reflect the history of what different makers produced, whether it be Henry Diston, who everyone knows about, uh, and uh, but it gives the history of what these makers actually produced, and. Uh, you can literally lay out, in some cases, with Richardson, I have almost 30 saws, and you can lay them out and trace the development of that the saw as a maker produced them over a 20-year period. And uh, anyway, uh, that... The fact that these were protected and on the back of literally every one, literally, uh, you will find the maker's name, often the uh, area or city in which they were made, this sort of thing, which have disappeared from your hand saws, which have been out in the environment. Uh, so. How do you want me to carry on from here? I got into this, I got out of the Navy after a two-year stint in 1948. My father picked me up in Boston, says it's Thursday, you can go to work on Monday. At that time, he was head of the Properties of Preservation of New England Antiquities, and uh, that's where it all began. And uh, we found that I could, or I found that I could make window sash, doors, I could do framing, that we uh, would try to have others do and it would not be satisfying. And so uh, from this we went on to, I had, when my dad passed away, uh, I had uh, three crews, upwards of 20 men, that worked for me. But we ha I had the best people that uh, I never had a problem. You know, we would get a young man like him with big televisions and all. What trouble have you had? When we did the Wayside Inn, uh, Longfellow's Wayside Inn, over two years for Ford Foundation, uh, there were a lot, a lot of that occurred, and I said, I don't have any trouble. I've got the best people I could possibly have, and uh, it, it is, there's hard work, but it's been a joy. Uh, so uh, that's, uh, I still am in my shop in Florida. Uh, I've, well, on my little trailer in back is a workbench to go in the grist mill at George Washington's grist mill. Really? In, yeah. So uh, uh, I 
still doing. I've worked there, visited them twice a year for over 16 years. And uh, so we're, we're uh, still involved. I've got windows in process and window frames. I've done the second floor complete for a uh, historic 1895 house in Florida. And uh, I'm in the process now of doing those for the first floor. And uh, so, have you got enough? If you're interested in learning traditional woodworking with hand tools, visit my website at woodandshop.com where you can find free video tutorials, buying guides, and reviews. Make sure you subscribe to my regular blog posts and also check out my 10 steps for getting started. Enjoy!